What's happening, everyone? We're back for some more F1. Lewis Hamilton and George Russell. And if you're new to this channel, what I do is I look at all different types of people's communication skills and I give you my thoughts. So that's what we're gonna be doing today with these two. Let's check this one out. Here we go. One I remember is <laughs> this one is the, the one I remember the most. Yeah. Just because of the pain that I was in. That weekend I went lower than you on the rear yeah. ride height, which is you just push well, I mean the car we went off. lower and it was much worse than my car, but painful for both of us, yeah. I think. Um, uh, look at Lewis is super laid back, isn't he? Especially here. He just has a very calm approach to communicating. And I think a lot of people who display confidence when they're communicating, they don't feel the need to project their voice very loudly because they're comfortable with what they bring to the table. And I think with Lewis, yeah, he's got this sort of laid back approach. Now, he seems like a guy who kind of, he's in a world of his own to a degree. He's sort of like his own entity. And I'm curious to see how he relates to George here. I'm curious to see how he interacts with him. Yeah, with the bouncing. Yeah. It wasn't where we wanted it to be. And Super un when um, you, unexpected. When you get like so close to uh, fighting for like a pole position or whatever, you're trying to get that last, that last, bit, of it, yeah. last bit out and uh, I don't know if I'm getting the vibe that they're like besties, like some of the other relationships in the past. Perhaps Lewis being the ultimate competitor that he is, he, he keeps his, his distance to a degree. Like he doesn't become best friends with everyone in the sport because he recognizes that these are people that he's competing with. And in order to maintain that sort of MJ mentality, there needs to be some distance. First podium together in France. Yeah, uh, it was a cool, uh... Cool you know, day, that's a cool shot. Yeah, great shot and just... Um, Drench me. <laughs> <laughs> just amazing because everyone had been working so hard and we obviously started out with such a... Lewis keeps it pretty professional, doesn't he? I think that's what this is. This is a professional relationship. It's a friendly relationship. It seems like Lewis is nice to George. I'm sure he leads by example, but it's like a nice professional working relationship. If I had to guess, like even from that little comment that George made, which it seemed like he tried to push it into more of that like friend territory. Just... Um, Drench me. <laughs> sort of an invitation to joke around with each other a little bit more. And Lewis kind of brushed it off a bit, sort of did a, uh, a laugh to sort of humor him and then right, went right back into professional mode there. <laughs> <laughs> Just amazing because everyone had been... I think George sort of follows Lewis's lead. He plays off his lead. Although George has his own personality, I think he knows when not to take it too far. I think he, he certainly has that self-awareness in him. A lot of these F1 guys are super smart, super self-aware guys. That result was really a highlight just to everyone just to continue to push, never give up. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, I remember this race was... <laughs> it's just funny where that conversation went. Like George, again, he wanted to have some fun with it. And then Lewis turns it into this like more serious kind of like motivational thing, you know? <laughs> I think he likes taking it to those places. Yes, we did. It might have been Barcelona. I can't remember Barcelona where we had the first time. Yeah. First time, wasn't it? We had yeah. no bouncing. I was like, well, you went, what is didn't this? You go to France before that. Yeah, we was in France, yeah. Mm. Um, yeah. Yeah, that was a good, that was a good feeling. I like George. I like how he's kind of taking the lead here. He seems like a pretty outgoing guy. He seems like excited about the sport. You know, I think him and Lewis actually have a good time talking about the sport itself. Like I said, it seems like this is more of a professional relationship. They can loosen up and have fun and smile about memories and things that have to do with the sport itself. You know, I think Lewis likes keeping it there. There's a boundary for him. Within that boundary of professionalism, he'll smile and laugh and joke as it seems like as long as it's about the sport. See, I thought when I got hit, I, you don't know how much damage you have. You go back to last and you're like, you start to then just think about, okay, I can push around and be dead last the whole mm -hmm. race. Should I save the engine? Because we only yeah, have three for the whole year. So I was like, yeah, if, you, if you guys feel like we should park it, don't feel bad like that. Yeah, George just seems like a likable guy here. Just watching George listen to him and be able to empathize with him. Dead last the whole race. Mm -hmm. Should I save the engine? Cause yeah, of course. I think these are qualities that people enjoy. I think with a guy like George, when someone can 
demonstrate that they understand you, we want to be around those people. Yeah, to where, where we've come as a team. Well, we owe everything to everyone back at, the, at the factory for continuing. Um, whilst we're on the road, we know that we've got the best people behind us. Um, problem solving, never giving up, continuing to push. And I think Lewis is very good at saying the right thing. And I'm not saying it's not genuine. I don't know Lewis, but he's certainly good at saying the right thing. And I'll take it for face value for what it is. I think, yeah, he's certainly a guy who knows how to conduct himself in the media. Well, we owe everything to everyone back at the, at the factory for... And I think I've seen a lot of people really like polarized about Lewis. And I think it's a matter of people trusting his word or not. And I think some people are rubbed the wrong way by Lewis because they feel like he might be acting humble. He's always trying to say the right thing. When we sense that people are acting humble and putting it on for the sake of getting likes in return, that's when you know, the mistrust starts happening. And the other side of it is, no, like this is him. He really is a humble guy. We know that we've learned so much through this year and we've grown so much as well. And we know that you're going to build us an amazing car next year. And whatever we're faced with, we're going to work through it. So big, big thank you to you guys. Absolutely. Thank you. I certainly like that message from Lewis. To me, that felt pretty sincere. I like him, man. I like him. I'm going to be honest. I do like him from the, the bits that I've seen. It's interesting how people can be so polarized about one person. And I think it comes down to, a lot of the time, the belief in their intentions. Guys, let me know who else you'd like me to look at. If you want to watch my uncut reaction and analysis, all you need to do is go to my Patreon page. I've included the link in my description below. I've also got all my uncut F1 reactions there as well. Other than that, my name is Max. I will catch you soon.